This is an extract from the Leader Coronavirus Daily podcast by The Evening Standard and hosted by me, David Marsland. To hear the whole thing, search for it on your podcast provider. Actor Olivia Coleman has been helping prepare meals for the needy with the Felix Foundation. The charity is a partner with the Evening Standard's Food for London Now campaign, addressing the food poverty issue caused by coronavirus. We came to um, Made in Hackney and they've diversified. They do cookery lessons normally for um, people who you know, are learning about living on their own or going sort of children who've been in care, all sorts of people, community kitchen. Um, and now they are cooking all of these um, meals. They do 500 a day for people in the local community who are isolating or vulnerable or lonely. These are incredible people doing an incredible job. The appeal has now passed the £3 million milestone thanks to many of our readers and listeners. Our editorial column says thank you. It's a remarkable achievement and a tribute to all those involved in what has become a huge logistical exercise, masterminded by our appeal partner, The Felix Project, as well as charities and schools. The benefits for the vulnerable recipients of the food are obvious at a time when the confining requirements of the lockdown, combined with financial hardship, are making it harder than ever for some Londoners to obtain the nourishment they need. However, there's still a need for much more. This country's battle against COVID-19 is a long way from being won. And the stresses and strains that it's producing seem likely to increase, not diminish. It's great that Londoners have been so kind so far, but let's keep the donations flowing, please. The Evening Standards Investigations editor David Cohen's running the campaign and is with me over the phone. David, £3 million is an incredible amount of money. Yes, on any normal day, that would be a very significant milestone and one that we would celebrate because we've reached it in less than one month. But David, today it is one tempered with very sobering reports that we are just at the beginning of an escalating food poverty crisis across the capital. And so it is both a good thing that we've we've got there and that we're doing this, but it's very notable that um, large organisations, readers of the standard, philanthropists, companies across the capital are looking to fund our appeal because the group that we are funding, the Felix Project, they've scaled up and responded very quickly, um, quadrupling their supply of fresh surplus food to vulnerable Londoners, and are currently supplying 100,000 meals a day. And um, Barclays Bank, we are the first recipient um, from their COVID-19 100 million pound community aid fund. Today we report that they have given us 250,000 pounds. That took us over the line to 3 million. That figure though that you've just said, 100,000 meals a day being prepared, I mean, that really just shows the scale of the problem we have here. Absolutely. And um, that involves distribution to about 80 charities and to about 10 community hubs that have been set up by London boroughs. And those community hubs are set to grow and expand still. So we're still not nearly at capacity. So it is quite extraordinary. Once all the boroughs get up and running, some of them have been quicker and faster than others. Um, But, for example, we delivered something like eight tonnes to the Tottenham Stadium in Haringey. Some boroughs have only had half a tonne or one tonne, and some boroughs are still getting up and running. So it gives you a sense, David, of the scale of what is being attempted by this incredibly well-run quite light on their feet charity, The Felix Project. And the appeal goes on, doesn't it, David? We're still looking for people to donate. The problem is not going away. And now we've had backing from numerous churches and religions. Yes, so various faith leaders have backed us. We've got the chief rabbi, the imam from Finsbury Park, who was um, so notable in in his uh, work during the terrorist crisis. And we've got the Bishop of London, Dame Sarah Mulally, all coming behind our appeal, as have Keir Starmer, Boris Johnson and Sadiq Khan.
You can donate to the appeal at virginmoneygiving.com forward slash fund forward slash food for London now. The address is also in the show notes. Search for the leader coronavirus daily on any podcast provider to hear more from the podcast.